Hi, my name is Keith Smith. I'm a freelance PHP programmer, and I've been a freelance PHP programmer since 2006, and I'd like to teach you everything I know. Okay, today what I'd like to cover is how to clone a virtual machine on VirtualBox. Okay, I have VirtualBox open. Let's go ahead and click this. So we right mouse click on the VM we want to uh, clone. We right mouse click on it, go to clone, and we give it a name. Now, mind you, this, this uh, uh, VM that we, we're gonna clone, we created in a prior lesson. And so now I wanna name this. Now this is the name for the virtual machine in VirtualBox. It's not the name of the machine within uh, Linux. Okay, so I want to call this LAMP. The reason I'm calling it LAMP is that's what a web server, we're going to build this into a web server. So LAMP stands for Linux, Apache, MySQL, and PHP. Then we're going to accept the default path, and then we're going to, the next box here, we're going to select, uh, we want to generate a new MAC address. There we go. Okay, next. And, and the reason we're going to do this is because after we clone it, we're going to change the IP address and the name the machine name or the uh, server name. And so I'll step through all of that. And so we need it to have a new, a different Mac address because if we're running another machine that has the same Mac address and that could be problematic. So let's go ahead and go next. And we want a full clone. So we finish, it's gonna take a minute. Okay, so the cloning has completed. Okay, so now we're gonna start the virtual box by clicking on it, hitting the start button and it will take a, a minute or two to start and I'll come back after that. Okay, so the VM is started and what I'm gonna do is I wanna minimize it and I'm gonna minimize VirtualBox and I'm gonna go over and I'm gonna start PuTTY, which is a utility for accessing your VM on the command line. So the VM, I know right now the, the IP is actually 80, so it's 192.168.1.80. And if you've been following along, I just did a video on how to install PuTTY. And so you'll also know that this is my username. And, and so all I have to do, or I could just click on this here, double click it, and see it says the username is Keith. It's already got that because it was part of that string. And then I just uh, log in. It takes a second, it thinks a little bit. Now we're logged in, let's clear. It's IP space A, hit enter. And then we look down here and there's the IP address. Okay, this is the same IP address as the, the uh, virtual machine that we cloned. So I wanna change this to 192.168.1.81. I want it to have a unique IP address. That way I can have all of these machines open at the same time and they won't be colliding. So that's the first thing we're gonna do right now. We're gonna change the IP address, okay? So let's clear this. Let's make this window a little bit bigger maybe, about like that. Okay, so I already know what where the IP address is and how to change it. So uh, I'll, I'll do it and you just follow along. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna type in sudo, which means give us uh, give us root access. Root is the master. Root is a super user. So we want to be able to be super user, but we use sudo. And I'm not going to get into it all right now, but there's a reason we do that. We'll cover that at some point. So sudo, and then my editor of choice is by, vi, and then we want to go to etc slash uh, net P. I'm going to stop right there. Now I'm going to hit the uh, tab key. Damn it. Auto completes. Now I know there's only one file in this directory. So if I hit tab again, it will bring it up for me. So now we're going to be able to edit it. I hit enter. It asked me for my password. It asked me for my password again because I typed it in wrong. Okay. Here we go. Okay. So you can see this line right here. See if it'll let me highlight it. Yes, it will. Okay, so this line right here actually has the IP address in it. Okay, okay, we want to read this up here. This text. I'm going to do a Control C to copy it, 
And then I'm going to open up Notepad. Let's move this off to the side a little bit. I'm going to open up net, net, Notepad. I'm going to do Control B, which pastes it. And I want to hold down the Control key, and then I want to function my mouse. I want to make sure this has focus. Function my mouse. See that the type gets bigger. It's easier to read. Okay, it says this file is generated from information provided by a data source. Okay, so if we want to change the uh, IP address, we have to actually create a file. And the way we do that is we just uh, copy this right here. And then we go in and we get out of this file. Well, you know what we're going to do first? We're going to go change the IP address. Okay, so I'm going to go in, into insert mode, and I'm going to type 1. I'm going to delete the extra character there. Then I'm going to hit escape to get out of insert mode. Now we're in Vi, and now I'm going to save it. I'm going to hit a colon, and a W for write, and a Q for quit. Bam. That's all we need to do to that file. Now the next thing we're going to need to do is sudo Vi. And then this string right here that I that I um, highlighted, copied, I'm going to paste it with a right mouse click, and then I'm going to hit enter, and it created that that file, and it opened it to be edited. So I need to go to insert mode, and I need to take this one line right here. Uh, don't keep, don't take the hashtag there. I want to copy it. And then I'm going to right mouse click it, and that's all we need. Hit escape to get out of insert mode, and which puts it in command mode. Remember, we're using Vi. We're going to put a colon, and then a, uh, a W for right and a Q for quit, and we're going to hit enter. Okay, so if we check and see what's our IP right now, it's still going to be the same. It hasn't changed. See, it still says it's 80. So we need to do one more thing. We need to uh, type in sudo. Let's clear this. So we're going to type in sudo. So we have uh, all access, super user access. And then we're going to um, type in net plan apply now that's this is a new networking uh, configuration it's been out there for about a year maybe uh, not even a year maybe nine ten months this is Ubuntu 24.04 so we're using the latest uh, way of managing the network which is NetPlan uh, this is a change from prior versions uh, so let me hit enter okay so the IP address has changed so we can get rid of this and we don't want to save it. And because the IP address has changed, this uh, PuTTY connection isn't going to work anymore. So now we need to go back to PuTTY, start a new PuTTY instance. Okay, there's my PuTTY. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, double click on PuTTY. It's going to open up another window. Now this is already what we want. So I can just hit enter or I can hit open, boom, that's the new IP address. So let me type in my password. Here we go. Let's look at what the IP address is. IP space A, boom, let's see what it says. Okay, it's working. All right, Two, uh, 81. Okay, what we're gonna do now, is we need to, we, we've completed the, the update to the uh, IP address, so now we need to change the name of the server. So let's see what, what it shows now. Post name, and it says, see, first install. That's the clone uh, version. So we're going to give it another version. So I'm going to type in sudo space and then host name ctl set 
hyphen host name and then a space and I want to make it LAMP for Linux, Apache, MySQL and PHP which would be a complete web server. So I hit enter. It's going to want my password Enter again. Now it's it's done. So let's use the up arrow key a couple of times. Get host names already typed in. Click on it. Now it's lamp. Okay. So let's exit this. Okay. It's closed. Let's go over to uh, VirtualBox. Let's hit the X in the upper right hand corner. That gives me a menu. I want to power off uh, this machine. So I'll say okay. Give it a minute, it's powered off. Now we're gonna power on another one. Go back and start, bring virtual machine up, which is running. Uh, I can double click on this and it will start. Okay, so the virtual machine is active. We cycled it, we turned it off, we turned it back on. This is the cloned one. Give it my password. There we go. Okay, so let's see what the IP is. IP space A, enter. And if we go down to the bottom, we can see it's 192.168.1.81. That's what we wanted. Okay, let's clear this because there's too much here. And let's look at what uh, it says the host name is. Host name, that's a command. Hit enter. And it says it's lamp. So we've had success. Subscribe to my channel. Hit the notification bell so that you don't miss any new content. If you found this content useful, by all means, give it a thumbs up. I'd like to hear your thoughts, so leave a comment. And subscribe to my newsletter. Below you will find a link, and you'll want to subscribe because there's some information I'm going to let out that probably will not make it in, into the videos. Thank you for watching, and have a great day.